Hello. You cannot play victim on certain situations that you caused. And once things start catching up, the tower moments start crashing in, you cannot sit there and play victim. You have to really sit and think, what the heck have I done? I'm getting all this bad luck, bad karma coming in. You know, I say this every time. Just because God didn't punish you right then and there, God gave you so much opportunity to right your wrongs. You never might, you maybe never made peace with the person you wronged. Because in your mind, maybe you think you didn't do nothing wrong. But if you seriously sit and think about it, it was wrong the way it was handled. And I get people have free will, but there's just certain things, you know, people do just for the hatred and evilness in them. You know, there's certain things people do that they purposely want to hurt someone. So you just, you cannot play victim. You can't rally up people for the certain situations. You know, now everything's coming up against you. Everything's just falling apart. Yeah, because you were moving funny. You were doing things that just didn't make sense. And see, friends and family don't really know. Like I can go shoot somebody in the leg and then I can be like, well, this person, they did this and that. And you know, to try to get sympathy from people and the person ain't even did nothing. The person don't even know why I shot them in the leg. You see what I'm saying? But I can go around just making up all kinds of foolishness to get people to side with me. When all the while I was in the wrong, I shot this person. This person ain't did nothing to me. But a lot of narcissists are very good at playing that card you know own up to what you did make it right with God make it right with the person you know this is this is why I, I just I don't understand you know when we do wrong God see everything God hears everything you know and God is a very loving God and will give you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to make things right but because your pride and ego you know, I didn't do nothing wrong, you know, and you sit in that energy. Okay, well, God's going to show you, you know, so <sighs> I'm seeing a lot. And I've mentioned this in the other video. I always say this, you know, in family units, friend circles, people turning against other people now. It's, it's like judgment has really started coming down on people for things that they got away from things that they thought they got away with, you know, might not, it was funny to you when you were doing it. It was very funny, you know, but God saw it. You need to repent. You need to ask for forgiveness and truly mean it. Stop parading around like, you know, you're one way when you're really doing wicked and you know, you're doing wicked. And you got friends and family and everybody else who you can pay and manipulate to side with you when you know you're in the wrong. So, I also, from my understanding is, you know, when you do wrong and then you have other people rallying with you, they also receive that karma and that judgment right along with you, from my understanding. So... It's like you go down and the people that was on your team also get to go down with you, which is a very scary situation. I don't know about y'all, but God is very powerful and I would not be trying to play right now because this is a season where a lot of stuff is being balanced out and I'll be trying to make things right. You know, ask for forgiveness for whatever. Call people up, email them, whatever. Hey. I did such and such. I shot you in the leg at the corner store. You didn't do nothing to me. I want to make it right because I keep getting karma about it. You know what I'm saying? That's a horrible example. I don't know why I'm... But, yeah. So, I hope this message helps whoever comes across it. Make things right with people because God is balancing a lot of things out. And you can kind of see through people's lives, you know, that God is not playing, you know. But 
yeah, I will see you in the next video.